Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Shaheen Manjazi here, your favorite manifester. In this video, I'm talking about my weekly goals. I'm going to measure what my targets were for the week and then what I actually produced in terms of action taking. And um, the whole point of this video is just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like at the end of my week if I set goals for myself, whether I achieve the goals if I didn't achieve the goals, and if I did not achieve the goals, what I am going to do going forward to get better and achieve the goals. And I also want to show you guys how if you had goals that once you start pursuing them and yeah, taking action towards those goals, and you might see that they're actually not the, the best way of doing things, or those goals aren't the best way of measuring your progress, you can always change those goals and refine them along the way during your process. So don't always feel like you're locked into certain goals that you set for yourself when it comes to weekly goals, or uh, excuse me, 90 day goals. As far as my career goals go, um, I actually did a good job with the YouTube aspect of things. My goal for the week is to release three YouTube videos and I successfully did that. So I'm super stoked about that. I'm super happy with my production on YouTube and that I have momentum uh, in YouTube now. I did realize that the process did take a little bit longer than I expected in terms of like recording the videos, editing, uploading. Um, so going forward, I am going to just pay attention of how I can sort of expedite the process and leverage my time so that I can still get my message out to you guys, but do it in sort of a shorter amount of time on the back end. Now, my music goal for the week was to produce three songs. And this was all based off the 90 day goal of producing 36 songs. Through this past week, I've realized that this is not the best way to measure my progress and not the best goal because it wasn't really tied to a clear end objective. So this week, what I ended up doing was tying my actions in the realm of making music to an end objective and that end objective was i ended up creating a release schedule over the next nine months that i'm going to be sticking to so i'm going to be releasing singles eps and a full-length album within the next nine months and i put upload dates and release dates on a calendar so now I have a visual representation of what I'm doing in the world of music over the next nine months. Within this 90 day period now, I'm going to be releasing two singles. So I'll be releasing a single in December and I'll be releasing a single in January. Okay, so that's going to fall in this first 90 day period. So now my new process for making music is at the beginning of the week, I'm going to define what actions I need to take that week to get one step closer to releasing these two songs that I'm going to be releasing this in, in this 90 day period. So that's my new process. And I'm happy that I, I've created this new release schedule because I can kind of clearly see this and visualize it and just see it on the calendar. And I'm happy to report that this week I did make progress in mixing uh, one of the songs that I'm going to be releasing in December. So I'm happy with this new process going forward. Relationship goals. So in this 90 day period, I have set the goal of making 125 new connections. These are people that I meet in person that I connect with on some way. So I count a connection as I meet them in person and then I have some sort of way that I can reach out to them after that brief interaction that we have. This means that I would have had to meet 10 new people this week and connect with them. And I fell short of that. I've connected with six people this week. Now, this is not counting two people that I met on the Saturday before this week. I consider a new week starting on Sunday. And I kind of started this goal setting process this week. I did connect with two people on Saturday, but I'm not counting that. That would have taken it up to eight. But I did meet six people. And my main strategy for achieving this goal is to attend two social events per week. What I realized is I can't just depend on these two social events to make those 10 connections. And instead, what I have to do now is just be more curious about people in my everyday to day life. This is when I'm going to the gym. 
if I'm doing things for work, if I'm at the store, if I'm eating at a restaurant, and that has to be a part of my strategy now. I can't just rely on these two social events. The two social events that I attended this week were dancing events, uh, like partner dancing events. So it would be like a class followed by social dancing. And uh, what I found was it was kind of difficult to make connections with people, like get their social, social media information or phone numbers during the dancing events, uh, during the dancing portion, because, you know, you're dancing and music's loud. And, and when a dance ends, you know, people just want to continue dancing and get another partner and dance. So uh, the connections I did make were typically when I was leaving the event and if there happened to be people who were leaving at the same time who I connected with during the class or whatever um, I would just connect with them right then and there so I actually ended up making five connections from those two social events those social dancing events and I made one connection from eating at a restaurant chain called Rubio's next to my house that I've been going to for many years and Actually, I noticed one of the guys who worked there, I noticed that he'd been working there for a long time. And when he came to serve me my food, I actually brought that up. I was like, hey, man, you've been working here for a long time. And we ended up having a pretty long, good conversation. um, And I connected with him on social media. So that was super cool. And again, just a testament to it's good to be curious about people um, just whenever you're going about your day-to-day life. So I do like this goal of connecting with 10 people per week. I think it pushes me to be curious about people and go meet people. So I'm going to keep this goal and I'm going to implement these changes going forward into next week, or I guess technically this week because I'm filming this in week two. Physical goals. uh, I'm super happy to report that I met all of my physical goals. Um, My goals was to do two strength workouts this week, which I did with Flying Colors. And it was to gain 0.4 pounds per week. Um, This is so that I gain a total of five pounds by the end of by the end of this 90 day period. Now, when I actually weighed in last week, my exact weight was 173.9 pounds. When I weighed in this past Sunday morning, I weighed 174.3 pounds. So I gained 0.4 pounds, which was exactly my target weight that I wanted to gain. Um, So yeah, I'm super happy with what I did in that realm. And um, I think going forward, what I have to do better is just really pay attention to the eating enough food, making sure I'm eating at the same time or around the same time every day. And um, yeah, just pay more attention to my eating habits. That's what I'm going to do for this week going forward. All right, let's talk about financial goals. So the financial goals for this week was to make $750 from really any source of income, any any source, and then $540 from my personal brand. Uh, this week, I made a grand total of $22, which I made from selling old clothes that I was going to go donate, but I saw a store that like buys old clothes if they see something they like and they resell it. But I'm very, 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 very happy and relieved to announce that I did reach out to my network in the production world this week and I landed a job for next week. Um, It's a four day shoot. I'm going to be working as a production assistant and the guaranteed pay is $1,200 for for that four day job, but it could go up to anywhere from $1,500 to $1,600 if those filming days go into overtime. So um, I'm super excited about that. I'm super happy that I got that job. And if I do end up making $1,500 to $100 with this job next week, um, averaging it out over this, this week and next week is going to be $750 per week. So that would actually mean I meet my goal. And um, I did not make any money from my personal brand. My strategy here is to continue producing high valuable content and making it clear, constantly iterating at the end of my videos that I do offer coaching, consulting services in the realm of applying manifestation techniques into your life. And then also I can make money from my music, by playing gigs 
um, this is essentially what I've been doing for the past four months, traveling and touring across America. So what I'm going to have to do action wise in order to achieve that is to go schedule a day where I just go walk into local establishment, bars, breweries, restaurants, and um, talk to those establishments and see if they want music. That will greatly enhance my odds of making money from uh, music and my personal brand. That is really the entire scope of what I did this week, um, how I performed. I'm super happy I met a couple of those goals, um, secured a job, and yeah, I'm making progress. That's the main thing. I think the most important thing to take from this is having goals on a weekly basis prompts you to take action. And when you take action, you're bettering yourself. So that's the main thing that I'm happy about this past week. I took action and I can give myself a pat on the back for, back for that. And I just implore you to do this process. If Watch my YouTube videos on setting annual goals, creating 90-day goals, and creating weekly goals based off those 90-day goals. And just, yeah, start taking action and do this for yourself where you have goals that you can measure. You need to be able to measure your goals in some way, shape, or form. That is going to determine if you're making progress or not. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Uh, and again, I just want to reiterate, I do offer manifestation coaching, consulting, basically where we get down to what it is exactly that you want to manifest. And then we take manifestation principles, apply them to your life. And I am your accountability and manifestation partner over a course of time until you really embody um, the teachings and the principles for yourself and know how to go through that process for yourself. This is just something to dive deeper in if you really want to go deep in this topic with me, then that service is available. If not, continue watching my videos, get as much value from them as possible, and uh, let's continue growing together. Peace out for now.